All right, so to get this started, this flow is going to take us toward a one-legged crow, so uh, expect a lot of work in the upper body, the shoulders, the chest, the upper back, a good amount of work with compression, basically drawing your knee up, pulling your thigh in close toward your low belly and clo closing the hinge of the hips. Um, other areas as well, and I have two demonstrations before we begin here. So the first thing, and actually I'm gonna tie two demonstrations together here. So once we get into the main part of the flow, each sequence is gonna end up, you're gonna come into plank, a variation of side plank, and then we'll go from that toward the one-legged crow. So this is how it's going to look, just because it's going to be a little bit unusual. So what will happen is you're going to find yourself in this full plank, and basically you're going to set this up with your body in line, feet about hips width distance apart, and then my right hand is going to be my base here, so I'm going to turn my heels to the right side, and I'm going to keep both feet down on the floor rather than stacking the legs. Now you're going to keep the base arm straight, just keep that strong press from the shoulder down into your palm, your free arm, bring it behind your back for a half bind, pull the shoulder back, open your chest up toward the so you start with your hips lifted. You can always stay here, keep in mind. And if you want to move with this, I want you to keep your chest open, keep your shoulders back, keep that shoulder back, and then just sink your hips down and lift back up and take this back and forth and keep your chest open. So you're not really prioritizing sinking toward the floor. You want to feel that activation. Basically, you're working the obliques, the muscles of your core to take this back and forth. You're going to feel this in the inner thigh of the upper leg, keep in mind. But keep your chest open as you take this back and forth and don't get too hung up on sinking your hips down to the floor. After we've done that a few times, you're going to lift up, turn back to center into plank, walk your feet forward to a forward fold, and then we'll see if the hands are set to come into curl and this will take us toward the one-legged curl. So from here, palms down, dig your fingertips down, lift your heels, bring the knees to the lower part of your upper arms to come in toward that one-legged crow, give you more room to move. Look forward, lean, and then as you lean, let your feet lift together, big toes to touch, pull the heels in close, and you want to fold your legs whoop, as completely as you can. Now to come into the one-legged curl, there's stages of this, keep in mind, so just pause to, with, 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 with whichever stage you need to hold. Let's see if I can keep talking. And then shift, I'm going to shift my weight to the right and release my left knee. Now you may find just lifting one knee and setting it down is enough. That's going to be a lot if you don't do this a lot. Keep your hips high and keep your head low. And maybe just lift and lower a couple times. Now if you can keep that knee lifted, squeeze it in toward the second leg. And if you're going to take things further, keep your hips high, your head low, and extend that leg up and back, but take it slow. And the further you go into the pose, the harder it is, keep in mind. It's much easier the more vertical you can be from your torso, trying to keep your butt in the air and trying to keep your head low with the shoulders going forward. You can do this more flattened out, but it's much more muscular and much more stressful. So work things as best you can. See how far you're ready to go with this, and you don't have to take it all the way to the point of extending your leg. Just feel about shifting weight to one arm and maybe just rest with that, but just take it as far as you ready from here and work this as best you can. This is very much a strength building sequence. So all that said, let's go ahead and start this on our backs. And once you come down, draw your knees in close. And I'll work on that compression that I was talking about here to begin. So as you're holding your knees, squeeze in tight. And as you squeeze in, you try to engage around the hip joint here, right? The hip flexor, the hinge of the hip. So tense up your thighs to pull the, pull the thighs in close and touch your low belly. And if you're able to take this even deeper, you can wrap your arms around your legs and maybe just grip one wrist or the other. And if it's any sort of hassle to take this sort of position, you can always bring your hands underneath the knee joint or wrap the arms around the thighs. But whatever you're doing here, keep everything pulled in close. Try to tense up around the hinge of the hips as much as you can. Pull your spine down toward the floor as best you can here. And then hold your position, but just relax the tension. So just keep your arms as they are, keep your thighs in close. And then just try to let your shoulders sink down toward the floor. Let your spine sink down toward the mat as much as you can, but keep everything pulled in tight. And then just close your eyes. So just take a moment to settle in here, let your mind quiet down. and then just start to deepen your breathing. So with the inhales, pulling as much as you can, try to fill up your lungs, hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat to so slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as your inhales as you breathe. And just keep breathing like this to begin.
Now when you're ready, take a deep inhale. With the exhale, just open your eyes. And then go ahead and release your grip. Bring your feet down to the floor, about hips with distance apart. And let's take things slow here to start. So with your next inhale, reach your arms out long past your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your arms down to your sides. Back and forth. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides again. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides. Inhale, reach us out long. Exhale, arms to your sides again. Now inhale, reach us out long. And with the exhale this time, bring the arms down, but curl up as well. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, stay lifted here. And keep your gaze forward. Bring your hands in toward your chest. Belly pulled in, low back down. Keep your gaze forward and then start to twist back and forth. So go ahead and reach your right arm past your left leg as far as you can. And then just bring that hand back to center. Reach your left arm past your right leg. And then back to center here. Reach your right arm left. Try to twist right shoulder above the left. Come back into center. Reach your left arm right. Get that left shoulder high. And come back to center here. Right arm reaches left again. And then come back to center. Reach your left arm right. And bring it back to center. A couple more rounds. Reach your right arm left again. Come back into center. Reach your left arm right. And then back to center here. One more time. Reach your right arm left. Hold that twist. Keep the right shoulder high. And then come back to center. Reach your left arm right. Left shoulder is lifted above the right. And then come back to center. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, take hold. Your knees pull them into your chest. Relax your head. And just take a moment. Squeeze everything down. And then go ahead and release your grip and extend all four limbs up toward the ceiling. Now belly pull in, low back stays on the floor. Stay loose with the arms and legs. And just circle. Move through the wrists into the ankles. Move your hands, your fingers, and toes. Let everything crack that needs to crack here to start. Now keep your belly pulled in, low back on the floor. Extend the arms and legs to straight. Reach for the fingertips and toe tips. And then from here, just start to scissor the arms and legs back and forth, side to side. Now as you move, just reverse the cross. And you can take this through a wide range or a narrow range, whatever suits you best. Take it at your own pace, but keep the motion smooth here. And again, keep your low back rounded. And then just start to slow this down. Bring all four limbs back to center, back to vertical. And then with the hands reaching high, go ahead and bring your hands together. Interlace the fingers. And then face the palms up toward the ceiling. So the elbows stay bent and the elbows stay out wide. Now from here, pull the right elbow over to the right side, all the way down to the floor. And with your right hand, you're pulling the left arm across your body. And then set your left foot down at the center of the mat. And take your legs into an eagle bind. Cross your right leg tightly over the left. Now keep your arms grounded here. That right elbow stays down. And then just twist, moving your legs. So go ahead, fold your knees down to your left side and keep that cross. And then bring your knees back up to center. Right elbow stays down. Bring your knees down to the left side again. Keep your legs squeezing. And then lift the knees up and come back to center with your legs. One more time when you're ready. Bring your knees down to the left side. So left leg weights the right leg down. Just feel that twist. Keep the right elbow down on the floor. And then go ahead and bring this back up to center. Now go ahead, bring the hands above you, and then pull across. So left elbow comes to the floor, left arm is drawing the right arm to the side, and switch across your legs. Right foot down, left leg crosses tightly over the right. Now keep your left elbow down, but go ahead, bring your knees down to the right side this time, and feel the twist. And then bring your knees back up to center. Left elbow stays down, fold your crossed legs over to the right again. And then come back to center here. And then one more time, bring your knees down to the right side and hold here. Use the right leg to weight your left leg down. Keep your leg squeezing and keep that left elbow on the floor. And then go ahead, bring this back to center. Draw your knees into your chest, bring your hands to your knees, squeeze this in again. And then go ahead, release your grip and bring your feet to the floor. We'll set this up for bridge. So feet and knees about hips with distance apart. Bring your heels in close so you can start with your low back basically flat. Arms to your sides, palms down, keep your gaze up high. 
Now let's take it back and forth. So with an inhale, pressing the feet, squeeze the glutes, lift your hips. And then with the exhale, lower. Inhale, press your hips up high. Exhale, roll back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. Exhale, lower. Inhale, press your hips high. And then with the exhale, come down. Now inhale, lift your hips one more time and hold here. So keep your glutes squeezing, keep the hips lifted, hold the tension. And if you can take it further, pressing your toes, lift your heels up off the floor, but glutes are still squeezing and hips are still pressing high. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bring this back down. Now once you come down, draw your knees to your chest, bring your hands to your knees, squeeze in. Curl into this. Lift your head, lift your shoulders, bring your nose close to your knees. And then when you're ready, just roll this forward to a seat. And then once you're up, let's set this up for a reverse tabletop. So feet in front of you, about hips with distance apart again. Hands behind the shoulders, about shoulder width. Now go ahead, point the fingertips forward if you can. If you need to back off for the wrist, just rotate your fingers to the sides. Either way, lift your seat up off the floor. And then we'll take this up and down. So with an inhale, press your hips high. Exhale, sink this back down. Inhale, lift your hips up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, press your hips high. Exhale, come down. Inhale, lift this up. And then exhale, lower. Now with your next inhale, press high and hold here. Keep your glutes squeezing, keep your hips lifted. You can look forward, look up, hang your head back, whatever you like, but keep breathing. Now if you want to take it further, dig down to your heels and try to pull them toward your hands. Glutes still engaged, hips pressing higher still. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, come all the way down. Now once you're down, take a moment, shake your hands out just a little bit. And then when you're ready, take hold of your knees. You want to work that compression I was talking about again. So squeeze your knees in close, pull them into your chest. And then lean back to take the weight off your feet. So we're taking this into a version of both. Now I want you to keep your thighs pulled in close like this. Sit this up tall, press your low back forward. And try to keep that tension at the hinge of your hips. Now go ahead, release your hands, arms at your sides. Bring your shins toward parallel to the floor. And still work to sit this upright. Now, this is a base position. We're going to go back and forth from moving here. We'll take the first round slow. So bring the right foot behind your left leg. Now slow. Roll this forward. Left foot down. Right hand down. Now go ahead. Lift up off the floor. Touch the right knee and left elbow down to the mat. And then lift back up. Come back to your seat. And bring this back to boat. And this is easier to do than it is to describe. So just feel this out as best you can. Left foot behind the right leg. Let's take the other side. Now roll forward. Right foot down. Left hand down. Lift yourself up. Left and lean and right elbow down to the floor. Lift back up again. Come back to your seat and come back to this boat and sit this up tall. And we'll take it back and forth. Right foot behind your left leg. Roll forward. Left foot down. Right hand down. Elbow and knee touch the floor. And then bring it back to center. Legs together. Come back to boat. Left foot behind the right leg. Roll forward, right foot down, left hand down, elbow and knee to the floor again. Pick yourself up, back to your seat, and bring the legs back together. Right foot behind the left leg. Roll forward, left foot down, right hand down, elbow and knee touching mat. Lift back up, come back to center, back to boat. Left foot behind the right leg. Roll forward, right foot down, left hand down, elbow and knee to the floor. Lift back up, bring it back to boat, and bring your legs together. Right foot behind your left leg. Roll forward, left foot down, right hand down, elbow and knee touch the floor. Lift back up. Bring it back to center. Bring it back to boat. Left foot behind the right leg. Roll forward, right foot down, left hand down, elbow and knee to the floor. Lift back up. Bring your legs together and come back to boat. One more round. Right foot behind the left leg. Roll forward, left foot down, right hand down, elbow and knee to the floor. Pick yourself up. Bring it to center and bring your legs together. Left foot behind the right leg one more time. Right foot down, left hand down. Elbow and knee to the floor again. Pick yourself up. Bring it back to boat. And sit this up tall. Press your low back forward. Try to draw the thighs in close. And then take it further. Reach between the knees. Take hold of your big toes. Use that grip. Maybe just sit this up right here with the legs bent at 90 degrees. And if you can take it further, maybe extend up higher. But still stay tall through your spine. Press your low back forward. Keep your gaze forward. Keep breathing. Keep that tension at the hinge of the hips. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release. Cross at the ankles. Roll forward your hands and find all fours. And then once you're in all fours, give yourself a moment here. Move around. Stretch your hands. Stretch your fingers with the shoulders and hips move side to side. 
and then bring it into center. Let's take this into the wrist. So walk your hands in closer to your knees, maybe about one hand's length forward. And then flip your hands over, backs of the hands down, the palms face up, the fingertips point toward your knees here to start. Now spread your fingers out wide, press your fingertips down, flatten your hands as much as you can, and keep your arms straight, press your spine toward the ceiling. You can lean forward, and this will be more intense, or take your weight toward your heels, and that'll be a little bit, a little bit less pressure. But keep the hands active and keep the fingers spread wide. Now we're just going to take this back and forth, just rotating one hand and then the other. So go ahead and turn the fingers of the right hand in towards center as far as you can go. Turn the left hand in towards center as well. And then right hand out to the side, and left hand out to the side. And just keep on switching one hand at a time and take it back and forth. Now you can take it at your own pace, fast or slow here, but be deliberate as you move. So each time you reset your hand, you flatten it out, press the fingertips down, try to straighten your arm at least briefly. And just take as much or as little pressure as you need to feel this as you go back and forth. Now the next time you end up with both hands rotated with the fingers out to the sides, just hold that. And if you want to take that a little bit further, you can slide the wrists in towards center, maybe bring them in closer. But still, fingers spread wide, fingertips pressing down, press your spine up toward the ceiling. Maybe go ahead and sway your shoulders a little bit side to side, but just breathe here. And then when you're ready, just come up onto the fingertips. And walk your hands and hands forward and come into your regular all fours. Now wrists underneath the shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Look down at your hands. Keep the palms facing down. Rotate your hands, fingertips out to the side and then in toward your knees as far as you can go. Now set your hands flat, spread your fingers out wide, grip the floor with your fingertips. Press your spine up toward the ceiling and keep it lifted. Now maybe just hold here and this could be good enough. Keep that tension in your hands and as you grip, try to rotate your hands in the direction of your thumbs without them actually moving. And that just engages a little bit extra tension through the forearms and the wrists. Now if you can take this further, keep all that tension in your upper body and just start to move one leg at a time. So go ahead and bring your right foot past the left edge of the mat. Try to touch the inside edge of the foot to the floor and that'll stack the hips. And then come back to center, both knees down. Left foot past the right edge of the mat. Touch the inside edge of the foot down. And then bring this back to center. Right foot, left touch the inside edge of the foot to the floor best you can. Bring it back to center here. Keep gripping with your fingers. Bring that left foot to the right. Bring the inside edge of the foot down. And then back to center. We'll take one more round. Right foot over the left again. Touch the inside edge of the foot down. Hold here. Now keep the right hip higher than the left. And then straighten your right leg out completely and just lift that foot up off the floor, point through the toes. Now keep the right hip stacked above the left one of pulses, bring that right heel over to your left side on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your right knee down. Still gripping with your fingers, bring the left foot over to the right side, just touch the inside edge of the foot down. And keep that left hip lifted, lift your left foot, point through the toes. Keep your legs straight, and then pulse your left heel to the right side further on my count. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring your left knee down, and then come up onto your fingertips, down onto your heels, and take a moment, shake your hands out, loosen up your fingers, and loosen up your wrists. And then once your hands are ready, come back to all fours. Now from all fours, we're going to set this up for a push-up variation. So I want you to bring your knees together, bring your feet together as well so the legs are in tight. And then walk your hands back so the hands are about one hand's length forward of your knees. Still keep the hands shoulder width. Now rotate your hands, fingertips to the side. So maybe you're moving toward having probably the ring finger out to the right or out to the left. And keep your fingers spread wide, dig your fingertips down. Straight arms, lean forward and bring your shoulders past your wrists. Now we're only going to do five of these, keep in mind, but we're going to do them slow. So they are going to kind of suck, I will warn you. Now just use as much tension as you can. Keep that forward lean with your shoulders. And if you need to back off, just keep yourself lifted and don't worry about taking things too low. Shoulders stay forward, elbows stay pulled into your sides. And again, just five of these move with my count. So keep your shoulders forward, start to bend and sink down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold here, elbows in, keep looking forward. And then press this up. One, two, three, four, Five, shoulders still forward to the wrists. Bring it down again. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold, keep looking forward, keep leaning forward. Bring it up. One, two, three, four, and five. We got three more. 
Bring it forward again. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold here. And then bring it up. One, two, three, four, and five. Keep the forward lean two more times. Five, four, three, two, one. And hold. Bring it back up. One, two, three, four, and five. Stay forward here one more time. Bring it down. Five, four, three, two, one. And hold. Bring it back up. One, two, three, four, and five. And then come down to your heels. Take a moment. Shake your hands out. And keep in mind, that forward lean is what you're looking for when you're coming into your curl, and especially toward that one-legged curl. When you're ready, come back to all fours. And let's take it down from the hands and onto the forearms. We're going to take a forearm plank. So both forearms to the floor. See if the elbows are shoulder width. Bring your hands together here to start. And then step your feet straight back. Bring your body into line. But step your feet up, set your feet up so that they're about hips with distance apart. Now when you're ready from here, roll your heels to the right side. And then come up onto your left hand. The right forearm stays down. So it's a forearm side plank. Lift your hips high and take a half bind. Left arm behind your back. Palm face. We pull that shoulder back. Look up toward the ceiling. And we'll take it back and forth with the hips. So just sink your hips straight down. And then press up high. Keep your left shoulder pulled back. Sink your hips for two. And then press this back up. Hips come down for three. Press this up again. Sink your hips down for four. And then press back up. Sink your hips down for five. Come back up one more time. And then come into center. Lift your heels. Bring the left arm down. And then bring the heels to the left side. Come up onto your right hand. Hips are still lifted. Gaze up high. Take the half bind right on behind your back. Palm face. May pull the shoulder back. And then from here, we'll take it down. So sink your hips down low. And then press this back up. Sink your hips down for two. Press up again. Right shoulder pulled back. Bring your hips down for three. Press this back up. Sink your hips down for four, and then come back up. Let your hips come down for five. Press up one more time. Bring it back into center, back to that forearm plank, and then release. Bring your knees down. Come up onto your hands, and once you're in all fours, just give yourself a moment. Move around. Now you're going to stay here and breathe. Take another stretch if you like, but whenever you're ready, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, lift your hips, and find your down dog. Now, once you move into down dog, take a look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Press into your palms, flatten your hands so you can feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. And then sink your chest down low to the floor. Now, as your chest sinks down, press your hips up high toward the ceiling. And keep that long upward reach from the wrist creases all the way through the hips. Hold some tension in your core through the belly around the little ribs. Reach your hips high. And if your legs are tight or your hamstrings are tight, just go ahead and bend your knees. You can also just pedal this out and let your hips move side to side. Stay loose. When you're ready, take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just bend the knees. Look forward. Step to the front. Let's take a ragdoll fold. So feet about hips with distance apart. Deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs. Let your head hang. Let your spine round. And just let everything go long and loose here. And let the muscles in your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands to the floor, you can reach to opposite elbows if you like, and maybe shake this side to side to loosen further. And then when you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin, and then restack your spine. So slowly round this up to standing, bring your head up last, and just open up your palms at your sides. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, bring your hands down to heart center. Take a moment to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now at the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips, start with a straight spine, put a little bend in your knees. Keep your core engaged, move smoothly. And then just release at the bottom. Now with an inhale, lift it up halfway, fingertips to the floor or to your shins, lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands to the mat and step this back to high plank. Find your shape, wrist the shoulders, palms pressed to the floor, press the floor away from you. Press your spine up toward the ceiling, stay lifted. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Now keep your body in line, elbows pulled into your sides and lower with control, all the way down to your belly. Once you're down, flatten the feet out behind you. Hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. And we'll take this up and down through low cobras. With an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. 
exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time. Now just stay lifted here. Keep the lift in your upper body. Press into your feet. Take some of all the weight out of your hands. Now elbows at your side. Draw the shoulders back. Keep looking forward. And work to lift up a little bit higher. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, roll back down. Hands under the shoulders, elbows under your sides, press the palms to the floor. And let's take it to upward facing dog. So with an inhale, straighten your arms. Now pull your chest forward. Let your hips hang, stand the tops of your feet. Keep your legs active. Work to lift your knees up from the mat. Take it further. Kick your feet down. Squeeze your glutes. Try to pull the hips forward to help deepen and lengthen the arc through the front. Now lift up with your arms. Lift with your shoulders. Keep your neck long. Keep your chest pulling forward. And then take an inhale. With the exhale, pull your belly. Hips up high to down dog. Paddle out. Let your hips from side to side. Now from your downward facing dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. And with your right leg lifted open to a scorpion dog right away. So bend your right knee, hang your right foot left. And bring your gaze to the left side. And then try to keep your gaze left. With an inhale, straighten your right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist, knee to left elbow. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow again. Inhale, the right leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow one more time. Hold here, stay forward. And then set your right foot down and step your left foot forward next to the right forward fold. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to stand and reach us up high. And with the exhale, sink in the chair. Put the weight to your heels, bend your knees, and bring your hips down low. Now as you settle in, pay attention to your stance. Feet within hips with distance. Big toes and knees towards center. Belly pulled in. And let's bind this low. Right on behind your low back. Palm facing away. Bring that hand to the left side. Left hand meets the right. Palms together. Fingers in lace. Keep your shoulders back. Keep your chest open. You can sink this lower. But then focus weight on the left foot and lift your right heel. You're still in chair. Right leg forward. Dip your big toe down. And then draw a semicircle all the way behind you with the right big toe. And then bring that big toe forward. Draw the semicircle all the way back again. And then bring it to the front. One more time. Draw that semicircle all the way back. And then bring the big toe forward. And then press into your left foot. Come to standing with your right knee high. And when you're ready, take the legs into an eagle bind. Cross the right leg tightly over the left. Now keep your legs squeezing together. Sink your hips down. You can touch that right foot to the floor. Shoulders pulled back. And if you can take it deeper, keep your gaze forward, but maybe hinge from the hips. And see about bringing your belly toward your right thigh. Keep your legs squeezing. Keep breathing. Now with your next inhale, straighten your left leg. Lift your right knee. And with the exhale, switch it out. Right foot to base. Come to standing with your left knee high. Now dig into the right big toe. Slow your breathing down. And keep your right arm bound, but release your left hand. Take hold of your left knee. And then pull your left knee out to the side. Now keep your left hip open. Keep the right shoulder pulled back. Point the toes of the left foot down to the floor. And put a little bend in the right knee. Now we're going to move here, hinge from the hip. Just take this to where you can. And keep that left knee to the side. So when you're ready, keep your gaze forward, but hinge from the right hip. Bring your torso down toward parallel to the floor, toward a halfway fold. And then come back up. Left knee still to the side, and you're still balancing here. Again, hinge on the right hip. Keep your gaze forward. Take it down toward halfway. And then take it slow. Bring yourself back up the vertical. Left knee to the side. Now one more time. Keep your gaze forward. Hinge forward. Come down toward halfway and hold here. Now as you hold this, put a deeper bend to your right knee. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, just step the left foot back. Hands to your hips. We're going to take this to a high lunge stance. Now give yourself a moment to adjust. Deep end of the right knee. Left leg toward straight. Hips are squared. Left hip pulls forward. Right hip pulls back. That left heel is lifted behind. And just settle in for a moment and sink the hips down low. Keep your torso upright. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach the arms up high. And then with the exhale, pull the elbows out wide. Let your head fall back. Open your chest. Inhale, reach this up. Look forward. Exhale, draw back. Elbows wide again. Inhale, arms up high. Look forward. Exhale, one more time. Draw this back. Elbows wide. Look up and hold here. Now keep the left hip pulling forward, right hip pulling back. Squeeze the shoulder blades toward each other. Now take an inhale. And with the exhale, just look forward, hands to your hips. And bring your left knee all the way down to the mat. 
Now I'm taking this to a kneeling lunge. Flatten the left foot behind you. Both legs at 90 degrees. Press down into the right foot. Kick into the left. And engage the glutes on the left side. Everything from the left knee on up stacks to vertical. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, vertical twist. Right arm back, left arm forward. Open to your right side. Inhale, back to center. Reaches up. Exhale, twist again. Right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, back to center. Arms up high. Exhale, one more time. Right arm back, left arm forward. Hold here. Now bring your gaze back toward that right hand. Left arm comes outside the right thigh to brace the twist. Now keep your spine tall. Crown of the head reaches toward the ceiling. Keep your gaze back and keep breathing here. Keep that left hip pulling forward, right hip still pulling back. Now with your next inhale, turn to center, reach up high. And then with the exhale, hands behind your head. Inhale, lace the fingers, palms open, elbows wide, pull your shoulders back. Bring your gaze up toward the ceiling. And then bend into your right knee and sink your hips down and forward. Come down low. Keep your gaze high. Keep your chest open. And as you settle on Anjana Asana like this, if you want to take it deeper, you can kick into that left foot. Maybe just barely hover that left knee up off the floor. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands down around your right foot. Tuck the toes of your left foot, lift your left knee, low lunge. And then step your right foot back and come into high plank. Feet about hips with distance apart. Now, I want to take this into your side plank, left hand as your base. Roll the heels to the left and keep the left arm straight. Right arm in a half bind. Bring it behind your back. Palm face away, pull the shoulder back. Bring your gaze toward the ceiling, lift your hips. And then keep your left arm straight. Stay strong here. So sink your hips down low. And then press back up. Keep the right shoulder pulled back. Sink your hips down for two. And then press this up again. Sink your hips down for three. Press this back up. Bring your hips down for four. And then press back up again. Sink your hips down for five. Press up one more time. Roll back to center. Both hands down. Lift your heels. Walk your feet forward to the front of the mat. Forward fold. Now when you're ready here, take an inhale. Lift this up halfway. And then with the exhale, reset your hands and we'll take it to curl. Palms down. Grip the floor with your fingers. Lift your heels. And bring the knees to touch your arms. Look forward. Lean forward. Take it slow. Now as your feet lift, keep your gaze forward. Big toes to touch. Pull the heels up toward your seat. And now take it toward the one-legged curl. Lean your weight to the left side. See about releasing the right knee. You can always set it back down. Maybe pull the knees together. And maybe extend that right leg up and back. Take it to where you can. And then whenever you're ready, go ahead, step it back, fly it back, take it to your vinyasa. And then from downward facing dog, we'll take all that to the other side. With your next inhale, raise your left leg high behind you. And then bend your left knee, move into your scorpion dog so the left foot hangs to the right. Now let your hips open up, look to the right side. And try to keep your gaze right. With an inhale, straighten that left leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, twist, knee to right elbow. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow again. Inhale, your left leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow one more time. Hold here. And then set that left foot down at the front of the mat. Bring the right foot forward next to the left. Take an inhale, lift it up halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to center, reach up high. Or inhale to standing, rather. And then with the exhale, sink into your heels. So bend the knees, bring this into chair. And again, be aware of your stance. Feet within hips with distance. Big toes, knees towards center, belly pulled in. And take the low bind. Left arm crosses your low back. Palm face me. Bring that hand to the right side. Right hand meets the left. Palms together, fingers in lace, shoulders pulled back. Keep your chest open. Keep your gaze forward. And maybe sink down lower still. Now focus weight on the right foot. Lift your left heel. You're still in chair. The right knee stays bent. Extend your left leg forward, dip the big toe down. Now just draw a semicircle all the way behind you with the left big toe. And then bring it to the front. Draw that semicircle back again. And then bring it forward. Draw that semicircle all the way back one more time. And then bring it forward again. And then push into the right foot, come to standing with your left knee high. Now when you're ready, cross the legs into eagle, left leg over the right. Squeeze your legs together tight, sink your hips down. You can always touch that left foot to the floor. Shoulders stay pulled back, keep your gaze forward, keep breathing here. And if you want to take it deeper, maybe hinge from the hips. And see about touching your belly to your left thigh. Keep your gaze forward, keep breathing. Now with the next inhale, straighten your right leg, lift your left knee. And with the exhale, switch it out. Left foot to the floor. 
Bring yourself to standing with your right knee high. Grip the mat with your left big toe. And once you're stable, just release the right hand, but keep your left arm bound. Take hold of your right knee. And then pull that right knee out to the side. Keep your toes pointed down. Now we take it back and forth from hinging here. Put a little bit on your left knee. Keep your gaze forward. And just take it slow. Hinge from your left hip. Right knee stays out to the side. Bring yourself down toward ha a halfway fold. And then back up the vertical. Right knee still to the side. Again like that. Hinge from your left hip. Keep your gaze forward. Come down toward halfway. And then hinge back up the vertical. And keep that right hip open. One more time. Hinge from your left hip. Keep looking forward. Right knee stays to the side. Hold here. Now bend your left knee a little bit deeper, take it in half. Huh? And with the exhale, just slowly step the right foot back, bring your hands to your hips, and find that long high lunge. So deep bend your left knee, right leg straight, take a moment to adjust. Right heel lifted behind, right hip pulls forward, left hip pulls back. Sink your hips down, but keep your torso upright. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, pull the elbows out wide, open your chest, let your head fall back. Inhale, reach us up again, look forward. Exhale, draw back, elbows wide. Inhale, reach us up, look forward. Exhale, pull back, elbows wide, hold here. Keep the right hip pulling forward, left hip pulling back. Draw the shoulder blades toward each other. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just look forward, hands to your hips, and bring the right knee all the way down. Now once that knee's down, flatten the right foot behind you. And we'll just take that kneeling lunge. So kick into the right foot, engage the glutes on the right side, hips press forward, press down into your left foot, legs about 90 degrees. Everything stacks the vertical from the right knee up. When you're ready with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, twist left arm back, right arm forward, open to your left side. Inhale back to center, arms up high again. Exhale, twist again, left arm back, right arm forward. Inhale back to center, reach up high. Exhale one more time, left arm back, right arm forward, and hold here. Now look back toward that left hand. Bring the right arm outside your left side to braces. Keep your spine tall and keep your twist. Keep breathing. Now with your next inhale, turn to center, reach up. And then with the exhale, hands behind your head, interlace the fingers. Palms open, elbows wide, shoulders pull back. Bring your gaze up high and then deep bend your left knee, sink your hips down and forward. Come into Anjaneyasana. Now keep the right hip pulling forward, keep your hips low. And if you want to go deeper, you can kick into that right foot, maybe hover the right knee up off the floor just a little bit. Now take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release both hands down around that left foot. Tuck the toes of the right foot, lift your right knee back to low lunge. And then step your left foot straight back, come into high plank. Feet set wide about hips with distance apart. Now from here to take the side plank, roll your heels over to the right, right hand is your base. Bring the left arm behind your back, palm face, pull that shoulder back, bring your gaze up high, and keep your chest open, try to keep looking up. Now keep the right arm strong, if you want to move, sink your hips down. And then press back up, keep your left shoulder pulled back. Again, let your hips sink down. And then press this back up. Sink your hips down for three. Press this back up again. Bring your hips down for four. Keep your chest open and then lift your hips back up. Bring your hips down for five. Lift up one more time. Come back to center. Lift your heels, both hands down. Walk your feet to the front of that. Forward fold. When you're ready, take an inhale. Lift this up halfway. With the exhale, reset your hands. Dig into your fingertips. Lift your heels. Let's take it to curl. Knees to the upper arms. Look forward. Lean forward. Go slow. When the feet lift, big toes to touch. Pull your heels up and pull them in close. Keep your hips high and your head low. Now to take it toward that one-legged curl, bring your weight to the right side. See about releasing your left knee. Maybe squeeze the legs together. And maybe extend that left leg up and back. Take it to where you can. When you're ready, bring it through another vinyasa. Now, once you find it down, dog, let's take this into half pigeon. When you're ready, with an inhale, raise your right leg high behind. And with the exhale, just bring it forward. Right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now, bring your left knee down, flatten your left foot behind you, pull the left hip forward. Now, keep the hips squared and sink your weight straight down. And look for at least some of the stretch on the right side, outer right hip or toward the glutes. Now, you can just stay upright like this. That's good enough. If you want to go deeper toward the back bend, you can take it there. And if you just want to melt down, you can come down to the elbows, you can melt this down all the way. Take it to where you need to right now.
All right, now if your hands are forward, walk them into center. And then once the hands are close enough, pull your belly in, stack your hips over your left knee. We're gonna take another pose, slide that right foot further left so the right knee comes to center. Now cross your legs together, pull the left knee in tight behind the right. Bring your feet out as wide as you can. And then as your legs are squeezing, come down to sitting between your heels. Now, if that's not going to work for whatever reason, you can always sit this with the left leg extended forward, right leg crossed over your left knee. But go ahead, bring both sit bones down. And let's take the arm bind from below first. Right arm crosses your low back, palm face away. Go ahead, reach back with your left hand and find the right arm. Maybe the wrist, maybe the elbow, maybe something in between. But pull that right shoulder back, open up your chest. And if this is good enough, stay here. If you're going to take the full bind, right hand up between the shoulder blades, left arm from above, and see about finding that grip somewhere in between. Let's take it to where you can. You can fold it forward. I do recommend staying upright and just letting your chest open up, but take things to where you like. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release whatever arm bind you're in. Go ahead, set your hands down behind you, lean back, untangle the legs, and just cross the ankles, roll forward your hands, step back to down dog. Let's take the other side. When you're ready with an inhale, raise your left leg high. And with the exhale, just bring it forward, left knee behind your left wrist, left ankle somewhere behind the right. Go ahead, bring the right knee down. Now flatten the right foot behind you, pull the right hip forward, keep it in line with the left. Sink your weight straight down. And look for at least some of that stretch on the left side this time, outer left hip toward the glutes. Now again, you're going to stay upright like this. You can go deeper toward the back bend if you want to take it there. And you can melt down to the elbows. You can take it down all the way if you like. Just take it to where you need to here. Now again, if your hands are forward, walk them back in towards center. And once your hands are close enough, pull your belly and stack the hips over the right knee this time. Slide the left foot further right and bring the knee to center. Now cross your legs, pull the right knee behind the left, bring the feet out wide. And as the legs are squeezing, come down to sitting between your heels again. And if you need to adjust, you can always have that right leg forward or the left leg crossed over your right knee. Now to take the arm bind from below here, left arm crosses your low back, palm face away. With your right hand, you can reach back, find the wrist, the elbow, something in between, whatever suits you best. But draw back on that left shoulder to open up your chest. And if you want to take the full bind, left hand up between the shoulder blades, right arm from above. And again, find that grip somewhere in between. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your grip. Both hands down behind you. Lean back, untangle the legs. And this time, come all the way down to your back. Once you're down, pull your knees in close and just draw everything in for a moment. And we'll take this to a supine twist. Go ahead, release your left leg extended fully. And then left hand to the right knee, right arm out to your side. Now go ahead, pull the right knee across your body, tuck your left hip underneath, keep both shoulders down, and look to the right. Now, find that stretch in the outer right hip toward your low back. And if you want to take it further, you can always extend that right leg out to the side. Now, if you want to take it further still, you can bind both legs. You can bend your left knee, reach with your right hand. And if you find that grip, kick into your hand, and keep both shoulders down, however far you take this, keep breathing. Take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, just release this. Bring everything back to center. Pull the knees in toward your chest. And then take the other side when you're ready. Extend the right leg. Right hand to your left knee. Left arm out to the side. 
Now go ahead and pull the left knee across your body, tuck the right hip underneath, and then you can keep both shoulders down and look left. Now find the stretch in the outer left hip toward the low back on this side. If you need more, you can press down with the right hand. And if you want to take it further, you can extend that left leg. If you want to bind both legs, you can bend the right knee, retreat the left hand. If you find that grip, kick into your hand. And wherever you take this to, again, keep both shoulders down. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release and come back into center again. Bring your knees into your chest side by side. And then let's take this to happy baby. Reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. Stack your ankles above your knees. And then pull down on both sides. So try to bring the knees down toward the floor outside your ribs. Press your feet back up into your hands at the same time. And just keep that tension working both up and down. Work to flatten your spine. Sink your tailbone down toward the floor. And if you want to take it further, you can rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out against your grip. And then finally, take a deep inhale here. Draw it down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms at your sides. Open up your palms toward the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here. Let your body settle down into the mat for a moment. Now when you're ready, start to move again here, bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. And extend this out long, take a deep inhale, reach your arms out past your head. And then pull everything back in, bring the elbows toward your chest, draw your knees up as well. And just take your time, find your way up to a comfortable seat. Ground yourself down into the mat, stack your spine. Bring your hands up to heart center. And then take a deep inhale here, hold on to at the top. And just let everything go. I thank you for joining class. Namaste.